inflammaging is an example of adaptation and remodeling, which is centered on the, an ancestral cell type. These are the macrophage and uh, immune responses, mainly innate immunity. And this is the paper of 2000. Uh, you can see that uh, it received uh, more than 3,500 citations. So it's the most uh, quoted papers of mine and uh, is an evolutionary perspective on immunosenescence. And I suggested that the chronic low-grade sterile type of inflammation occurs with aging. And uh, as I said, it is macrophage centered. And uh, I remember you that uh, the macrophage is the, the, the cell firstly described by Eli Mechnikov uh, um, many years ago. Uh, and this is uh, a paper that we published uh, in 2013, uh, suggesting uh, the uh, mechanism that uh, can are behind uh, underpinning inflammaging. Uh, and you can see that there is telomere uncapping, DNA damage, mitochondrial dysfunction, the activation of inflammasome of NFKB, uh, which eventually uh, uh, cause an increase of uh, inflammatory cytokines like IL-6, TNF-alpha, IL-8, and so on. And of course, cell senescence. But uh, look here, DNA damage response. DNA damage response is very important and I would like to show you this slide. This is uh, the last paper, one of the last papers that I published uh, at the beginning of, of, of May this year, whole genome sequencing analysis of semi-supercentenarians. So uh, in this paper, we have sequenced at very high coverage, uh, 90 per, the whole genome of 81 semi-supercentenarians and supercentenarians. So semi-supercentenarians are people over 105 and supercentenarians are people over 110, uh, all recruited uh, in, uh, in Italy. And the, one of the main results is that they have a peculiar genetic background associated with efficient DNA repair mechanisms. And this has been checked in other 333 Italian centenarians and geographically matched the younger controls. Uh, we arrive uh, the same year in, uh, in 2013 at this very important Geroscience Summit. Geroscience is a new word suggested to, for a new um, um, point of view regarding aging aging as the single most important uh, risk factor for all major age-related disease and geriatric syndrome. And the idea is that we have to combat aging in order to combat age-related diseases and geriatric syndrome all together and not one by one. And uh, the idea is that there are few highly connected molecular mechanistic pillars which eventually converge on inflammation. And uh, this is uh, the related paper that, uh, that they asked to, to write uh, to uh, Judith Campisi and myself in this um, meeting. Uh, and you can see from the title, uh, chronic inflammation and its potential contribution to age-associated diseases. This is also highly quoted, more than 2,000 uh, citations. And this is not a paper of mine, but is of uh, Xia and uh, colleagues uh, suggesting that inflammaging is related to, to this plethora of uh, diseases of aging, from cancer to heart disease and so on. But the one of the most important contributor to inflammation are senescent cells, described, of course, as you know, from Judith Campisi. And uh, they have uh, a pro-inflammatory 
Senescent Associated Secretory Phenotype, SASP, which uh, is a, one of the most important contributors to inflammation. Hey, would you like to know how to use food as medicine for your genes? Get access to my free webinar using the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the webinar, and if you do, please make sure to comment and share.